Today on Nation, let's talk about how you get paid, what you should charge, what you should be aiming for, and let's have a conversation. Hopefully you'll learn a couple things about it, but either way, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up everybody, Jersey here from Window Cleaning Resource, and you are here. Um, Thanks for taking a look around. Hopefully, if it is your first time, uh, it doesn't suck and you want to go back and watch. This is episode 100. That means there's 100 episodes uh, all about window cleaning business side of it. We don't really talk usually about techniques and things like that. We'll leave that for the other guys. Um, but go back, listen, check it out. It's awesome, or at least tolerable. Uh, and if you are not new here, thanks for coming back. Really, guys, I really appreciate you guys listening, commenting, and most importantly, buying your supplies through me. Yes, I'm a window cleaning resource rep, sales rep. It's what I do all day, every day. So if you want to use me as your rep, it would be greatly appreciated. Uh, my number is 862-312-2026. Call me, get stuff ordered. People vox me. They text me. They say, hey... Jersey, everything's in my cart. Can you put it in? Yes, I can. It doesn't cost you anything extra, I promise. But I get some cheddar from it, and that's how I make my money. So I can buy fancy things like beans, rice and beans this week. I got, that was one of them. I get, everybody always says, hey, uh, now you put this in, you can have your new name brand fill in the blank. And uh, thanks to Brandon Major, I get to have some uh, name brand rice and beans, so <laughs> thanks, man. But thank you guys, everybody who um, lets me put orders in again, 862-312-2026. Call or text it. <sighs> Shoutouts, of course, Brandon Major. I want to say what's up to T-Squeegee and the Outlaws. Again, I uh, was on a podcast with them. Um, and Caleb Phelps, what's up, man? Uh, thank you guys. Um, shout outs this week. I did not write a lot of people down for some reason, so I apologize. I didn't have a lot, but uh, give me a call. Maybe you'll get a shout out either way. And at the end of this episode, you're going to get a discount code. So listen to the end. Uh, it's 5% off uh, for anything you order through me, and we'll get that at the end. We didn't have one last week, so this week we're going to remember because it is the 100th episode. So yeah, there you go. But... Like I said, this week we are going to be talking about pay. And this is always a hard one because every area is different. Think about it. Like California, uh, there's parts of Maryland in like Bethesda. Like that area is just very, very expensive. Uh, what they make per hour is higher than what you would make in uh, little town Midwest, right? Uh, so take it with a grain of salt. Like, if you want to talk pay on forums, Facebook groups, that type of thing, awesome. But do your research first. There's nothing worse to the experienced guys because we all do want to help. That is that is the truth of the matter. But when you jump on a Facebook group or forum and you're like, hey, what should I charge for this? Like, give us some idea that you've done some research. Say, hey, I'm thinking about X amount per window, but because of this, what do you think? Like, people will respond so much better to that. Uh, there's a lot of guys that've been in the industry only maybe you know 14 years or whatever, um, but there's guys that have been even longer, and it's awesome to help somebody. But jumping in with that, how much does this, how much would you charge? Questions very, 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 very daunting and taxing, and it drives people crazy. And that's why people then rage quit out of forum groups. So they're like, ah, oh, people are mean. Yeah, it, it is Facebook. We don't moderate tons. So, uh, by the way, check out if you haven't. Uh, Pro Window Cleaning on Facebook and Waterfed uh, Window Cleaners Waterfed uh, is another group. Of course, Pressure Washing Resources, another very popular uh, uh, Facebook group. And then, of course, the forum. So go check all that stuff out. Um, but today, pay wise, um, I'm going to talk about the numbers that I charge so you know what at least what I charge. Use that kind of as a as a point. Um, you're going to see a lot of the experienced guys, guys have been in this for a while, charging for uh, per hour pricing as compared to a per window or something pricing. And basically what it does is after a while, you can look at a project, see it and go, okay, this is going to take me X amount of time. This is 
uh, typical, I've done a bunch of these. But when you're new, it's very hard. So you have to figure how many windows you can do in a minute, and that translates to hours, that kind of thing. So it's more difficult in the beginning, but uh, you'll find you're not going to be counting windows as often, and you're sure is not going to get a, a uh, measuring wheel out to get square footage for the most part. Um, if you're doing large projects, which I'm not going to talk about because I don't do like... Um, uh, parking garages and things like that. Then you go by square footage, but that's for another another day, another show, all of that. There's a couple ways that regardless of what you charge per hour, you're going to make more money. And it is being faster. And being faster sounds like you're half-assing it. Pardon my French. But it's not really what it is. It's the efficiency. Because in our industry, no matter what we do, window cleaning, pressure washing, gutter cleaning, roof cleaning, all that stuff is uh, time. It's, it's all time-based. Basically, somebody is paying you for your time. Now, what you charge for your time is completely different. Um, with experience comes more pay. And the big thing is, is that if, if it's taken me 10 years to know what I know and to work as fast as I work, you're not paying me for the minutes or hours I'm at your job. You're paying me for the 10 years of knowledge. That's the big one. And that's the one that's kind of hard for people to get, especially if you're new in the industry. Charging somebody $20 an hour may seem like a lot, but our minimums start at 65 an hour. Like, you go, yeah, I can't charge that. My clients are different. You're lying. You're wrong. You are completely wrong. If you think that your ch clients are different somehow than other places, you're wrong. Try it. You'll be absolutely surprised. But remember, I'm just some dude with a camera and a mic, so I don't know anything. So don't, don't. I'm not trying to tell you what to do with your business. Like I always say, whatever you do in your business is right because it's your business and you can't be wrong. Okay. But raise your prices. The, the big thing to raising prices is you either go faster, meaning you do a two-hour job in one hour, you instantly double your money. People are still happy to pay for that. Now, when you get to a certain level of being fast. People do tend to uh, razz you a little bit. Like, oh, man, uh, you're done already? Yeah. Oh, man, you're making like uh, $112 an hour. Uh, I, I always say, joking, I'm like, well, we're hiring. And they go, ha, 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 as they write their check. Because the truth of the matter is, even if people give you a gripe and you feel somehow morally like you're charging too much, um, understand this. Somebody is paying you for the act of getting their windows clean or their house clean, or their gutters cleaned, or their roof cleaned, right? So if it took you four days to do the windows, you were not going to charge them four days worth of work. You're going to charge them the same price to do it in four days or four hours, right? So understand that at some point, if we ever get the magic, a magical Harry Potter wand, right? And you could just go, bink, done. People will still pay you for that because... At that point, you're going to have people who are even more lowballer because they don't quite understand price. But it's still getting the end result. And that's really what you're looking for. Like, nobody's ever been to a dentist and been like, okay, I need this cavity drilled. And a uh, guy gets done and they're like, oh, man, I'm not paying you for that. That was too quick. Get in there. Spend another hour. Nobody does that. Because it's painful, it's not fun, it's creepy, people don't like the dentist, they're happy. If a dentist wants to charge me the same amount of money and he's in and out of there in seven minutes, high five, bro. I'm going to come back to you forever, right? So it's different in every industry. Not to compare us to dentists, people always say that. Oh, I always talk about doctors or surgeons or whatever. We're not doctors or surgeons. That's very true. We're a luxury business. Doctors are not a luxury business. If you're going to die or you're going to live, that's not a luxury, right? But window cleaning is, so understand that. It kind of makes sense on the next point is that when you are a luxury service, there is something to be said. Now, if you've ever driven or flown or heard of private uh, coaching, so you can get a private tour bus, you can get a chartered flight, those are always more money. People go, what the heck? I mean, nobody's ever complained that they chartered a jet for more money than they would jump in to coach on a plane because that's at that point is a luxury. You get in the nicest aircraft, they give you wine or whatever, champagne, 
you get fresh fruit, you fly in luxury, you walk right up to it, there's no tea. There's so many other things you're getting with it that as that luxury happens, people still get chartered flights all the time. I do not, of course, because I'm cheap uh, and it's really expensive. It's like five grand to fly from here to New York or something on a chartered flight, which is crazy. But a couple more uh, window cleaning sales and I'll be there, but... No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> but um, nobody pay, nobody complains for the luxury. Another side of it is when you get to the point of buying a Ferrari or a Lamborghini or a whatever, you buy the one that you want. Nobody has ever gone into a Lamborghini deal and go, how much is it for the convertible? Nah, yeah, no, let's stick with the base one. Nobody's ever done that. Because at that point, you're already into the luxury. If you're into the luxury, it doesn't matter the price because now you're getting what you want. And same thing with window cleaning. A lot of times, are there people out there who are cheap? Yes. Like, don't get me wrong. But this all comes back to pricing. Anyway, big blurb, all on pricing. Uh, be faster, practice at it. You'll get better. You'll make more. But here are my pricing breakdowns. Now, as far as residential window cleaning goes... Uh, there's a few different services in residential and I'll tell you it's either a minimum or it's going to be a per pane per window or whatever. Now we have a 20 window special. If you're not doing a 20 window special, do a 20 window special. You could change the price of the special depending on the season and your demand. But the big thing of it is that you want to have a baseline. There's a couple things that that helps on. If you have a 20 window special, People who are tire kickers, which we get them all the time, people go, how much does it cost? Because they don't know. They don't know, is it $0.10 cents a window or is it $40 a window? They just don't know. So it's not their fault that they don't end up booking with you. It's literally they just don't know. You know, It may be a new luxury to them. Um, so having that out there gives people an idea of what it is that you charge. It helps to get people, if they see that price, they go, oh, that's not bad. I'll call. Or they're looking and go, oh man, that's way more than I want to pay for that. They're not going to call and you're not going to have to spend any time on them. So keep that in mind. Do a 20 window special, but here's how ours run. In the off season, the non-extremely busy part of the season, our 20 window specials, $199 for inside and outside, $149 for outside only. There's a big difference because we want to do more services. I'm already on the job. I don't have to drive there. So to do the inside windows where I may have to move some stuff, but I'm not doing ladder work or anything, I'm, I'm absolutely okay with charging more. Even better on that note, I'm super okay with doing just outsides because it's going to take me no time to make some good money, but it gives people the option. It also gets people with a small difference. If I had 50%, difference like 99 outside 199 inside and outside then people are like oh well it's just twice as much but because it's half as much it helps people to decide like oh, let's just do it let's go for all of it because it's a bargain at that point right it's like you could buy one energy drink for you know two dollars and fifty cents or you can buy two for four and you're like oh well, that's, that's a pretty good deal it's only this much for another one right so that's kind of how those structures goes but ours is 199 Inside and outside, which equates to $10 a window. Now, our term window is two panes. So I guess you could change that to 20 windows or 40 panes, whatever you want. But the big thing about it is, is that a window can be two panes in a double hung. But if it's a picture window, that's one pane of glass, but it equals one window. Now, in a double hung window, there's a top sash and a bottom sash. That's two panes of glass we charge as one window. If it's uh, casements, there's two of them side by side, right? And that is a window in our world. Now, if you have storms, uh, first off, I would be super happy if you called somebody else. But third off, um, I'm going to charge you three times that per window because storms suck. There's time and there's twice the pain. So that's kind of our structure on that. Now, being that it equates out to $10 a window or $7.50 a window if you're in on the outside only, if somebody has more windows than that, we charge $10 a window. But our special is worded like this. We do 20 windows or less, $199. So if I go to a house, I'm going to be getting $149, which is our minimum for a house, 
uh, or 199. Now, if somebody has 22 windows and they want inside and outside, I'm going to say, oh, absolutely. You know what? We'll extend that deal for you. It'll be an extra $20 for the other two windows. So now I'm at $219 for 22 windows. Okay? That's our structure. Um, do not do a bait and switch. A bait and switch is when there are more things that you can offer, like the carpet cleaning. Everybody's seen that, you know, four rooms cleaned for $50. You go, wow, and then they leave your house with a $475 bill. That's a bait and switch when they're already there at your house. But here's the thing. We charge for other services involved in Windows. We charge $3 to clean your screen, and we charge $2 to deep clean your sill. I always tell people, we're going to drip on your sill. I'm going to wipe them down, but I'm not going to really, really deep clean them. And most of the time, people always are like, oh, that's fine. They're not dirty. you know. But if somebody wants a really deep clean, it's going to take me more time. So I'm not going to step over pennies to make, or uh, step over dollars to make pennies. I'm going to charge for my time. So, But I let them know on the phone when they're booking that appointment. Oh, your 20 windows special. Okay, you got 22 windows. Right now, we are at 219 for that. Uh, but just so you know, when we clean windows, that's just the glass itself. If you want the screens clean, we add uh, $3 if you want them. But not everybody's screens are dirty, so we don't put that in everybody's price. Why charge somebody for something they don't need? They go, oh, that's a good idea. And I said, the other thing with our screens is if there's two or four or however many screens that you think you need to have cleaned, you can pick and choose. It doesn't have to be all of them. Like, oh, okay. Well, I do actually I have two of them that are, uh, I always have those windows open. Or the other one is, I, I love the air conditioning. I never have my windows open. Like we offer that because our pricing is still where we want it to be, right? I could just charge $15 a window. I could. Uh, and do all of those services every time. And you certainly can. Your tickets are going to go up. But the big thing with the pricing is the other side of it is I want to make sure that you can be as competitive in the market as possible while still offering enough benefit for somebody to upgrade what they need to. Now, upselling, in general, the same reason you get if you have True Green, they're going to call you, oh, did you hear about our mosquitoes uh, spraying or our tree spraying or our... Upselling is a way that you can get people who already trust you to go in and do more. So the big thing with window cleaning is that don't bait and switch, doing it at the last second, but offer all the services that you have. The other thing is when you are there, you're going to offer other services like uh, gutter cleaning, house washing, roof cleaning, concrete cleaning, that type of thing. And here are the prices for that. Now, mind you, again, this is just for uh, what we do. By the way, one other thing that I didn't touch on before we talked about pricing is uh, if you have triple track storms, I'm charging $30 a window. If you have split triple track storms, which are the ones that are either Frenchy style, you know, with uh, true divides, meaning there's an actual frame and individual pieces of glass that don't remove, uh, or what we call splits, which are uh, two, two tops and two bottoms. It's just one bar. I'm going to charge you $40 minimally for that. $40 a window? Yeah. Because you know what? When somebody's like, oh, that's too much for me. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. They're just so time intensive. But I absolutely understand. If there's anything we can do for you in the future, let me know. Because I don't want to put our text on that. I'm not going to make good money on that. I'm not making more money on that. I'm making less money on that because of the time. So charge accordingly for that. Uh, but if you are going to do other residential services like, say, gutter cleaning... Uh, by the way, before I go any farther, if you're listening to this on iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play, all those cool places, awesome. But go to YouTube, search this week's episode, or you'll find it in the Facebook groups or forums or whatever. This week's episode is just going to be called um, How to Price Windows WCR Nation. Just type in WCR Nation on YouTube. It'll pull it up. This is episode 100, so EP100. But comment down below in the comments and tell me what your charges and your prices are for uh, all these services because I just want to know. I love to hear where everybody is price-wise. Very cool. Less or more, no one's ever asking you. Just let me know. Anyway, so our gutter cleaning, I hate gutter cleaning. It is absolutely my least favorite thing to do. Even though I'm not in the field, it is my least favorite thing to do because you know what? When I stick somebody on a gutter, they're going to be gross. Now my outside guy's gross. He's unhappy. He stinks. It's just not fun. So our gutter cleaning price is minimally it's two forty nine. That's where we start for a twelve square foot house. If you had one, it's two forty nine. Um, if they go, oh man, the last guy charged me ninety nine dollars. Like, oh yeah, uh, let me guess, he didn't answer his phone, or if he did, call him back. That's a great price, you know. Again, 
the longer you're in business, the more easily it is to understand where you want to be. And I don't want to say your worth necessarily, but I'm not willing to do crap for crap money. If I'm going to do crap, I'm going to make good money. So that's where our gutter cleaning is. We don't do by um, uh, square uh, linear foot. It's too much time to measure. But what I do is I look at our PETA factor. And PETA factor comes into a lot of what my pricing is. PETA stands for pain in the rear, right? Um, so our PETA factor on that one is uh, bends, turns, and small sections. So if you have dormers, uh, I may increase the price depending on how many there are. If your roof is super, super steep, I may increase the price. Uh, if it's on a hill or something hard or two-story hillside, I'm going to charge you a ton because it's going to suck for us to try to get up there. So that's our gutter pricing on that. House washing, uh, again, residentially. Now, mind you, if we're pairing services, we're going to discount it down usually 10%. Just a little something. Say, hey, uh, we're already there. You know, We'd love to add other services, right? But our house washing starts at uh, two ninety nine, um, and that is the very very start of our house washing. Now there's guys in my area that do it for eighty nine dollars. High five to you, brother. You're losing money, but whatever. Uh, I'm not that guy. I want to do the job right, and I don't want to have to rush it because I'm thinking about all the other money I'm not making because I'm here. So two ninety nine is where I start. Um, uh, Wisconsin. Uh, I have company in North Carolina and in Wisconsin. Uh, North Carolina is not really going because I'm doing more sales stuff, but I know pricing here at least. Uh, was $2.99 uh, here in North Carolina and over in um, Wisconsin is $3.99. There's just not the kind of competition and the service itself uh, is not to remove green stuff so people don't know that the service exists so we can charge more over there uh, while still having uh, to remove dirt and things like that off the anyway there you go there's our pricing let me know in the comments on youtube what you're charging for house washing is very interesting house washing is one of those that because it is an easy service people charge like our minimums 150 bucks well if that's your minimum cool but you're leaving a ton of money on the table and you're screwing up the market for the other guys too by the way but i got guys who charge $89, it's on signs all over our town, and yet I can still get $299. Why? Because sometimes people understand a luxury service or what they're getting when they pay a little bit more is what they're getting. Like 100% satisfaction guarantee. You don't pay a dime until you're happy. Like, this is what we do. We cover all your outlets. We do this. We move your stuff. We do, you know, let them know why you're worth it, but uh, you could charge whatever you really want. Now, when you're charging a price, per hour or per job that you want. You don't have to as much be worried about um, getting uh, all of them because you're making the right amount. So the big thing was the cheaper you go, the more you're panicking when people don't, when they don't say yes. And there are people who I know because they've told me and I've seen um, one job had three estimates and I was double, almost double by like $10. Uh, and they're like, yeah, but we just got a better vibe with you. People don't care about price as much as you think they care about price. Some do. Some do not. So keep that in mind. And then finally, roof cleaning there on residential. Um, what we charge for roof cleaning is we start at $399, and that is for one piece. So the north side of the home. Somebody wants all of it, then of course we're doubling that price. But remember, with roof cleaning, is very, very easy, yes, but people do not have the capabilities to do it themselves. And the other option is to get a new roof, which costs $10,000. So if you go to somebody and say, hey, this this roof clean, we can make it look awesome. It's gonna give your, your curb appeal, it's gonna take you years. We'll give you a five year warranty on anything, which by the way, is a great idea, especially on roofs. You go back, touch up, if anything, within five years, they there's not really anything three years five years whatever you want um but uh if they're gonna pay you a thousand dollars or they're gonna pay ten thousand dollars for a new roof which are they gonna do you know so uh help people out that way it's a very very good idea um hour wise our window cleaning per man hour ends up equating to minimally 65 an hour we will not unless we've done something really, really wrong, drop below 65 an hour in residential windows per man hour. So a crew of two, of course, equals $130 per team hour, if you will. 
Uh, gutter cleaning, we uh, rack that up to over 100, uh, but we shoot for minimally 100. Uh, normal gutter cleaning uh, on a smaller house we don't usually get, uh, so that uh, price doesn't get uh, it doesn't get affected because we're not doing a 800 square foot house for 299 um, or 249 on the minimum gutter. Um, so usually it's a house that's a little bit decent, so it does take a little bit of time, but at least $100 per man hour on gutter cleaning because it sucks. We don't want to do it. Uh, for house washing, we're going to be doing at least $120 uh, per man hour is usually what it equates to, but remember in pressure washing, you have gas expense, you have chem expense uh, on top of your labor, so that's where we're at there. Um, and then roof cleaning, we are closer to uh, 200 and something an hour, usually closer to the 250 mark. Um, but again, um, that's an expensive service that people aren't really able to do. There's a lot more education in, in roof cleaning because people don't know it's an option. So those are breakdowns per hour. Now, yours could be very much different. You could work faster next year than you do to this year, and you may make more. Some of you are as fast as you think you possibly can be. So it's time to raise your prices. At least those are some ballparks for you on that side of things. Storefront, to touch on that real quick, storefront is less money because there's frequency involved. I would 100% uh, with confidence say that every single window cleaning company should have a storefront route. Because it is going to make you money all year round, no matter if there's haboobs going on, which is uh, storms down in like Arizona area, if it's monsoon season, if it's winter, if it's off season, right? Everybody has their seasons, times when things drop. You do not see every single month at the same height. You always see a fluctuation, right? So with route, it will keep you making money no matter what's going on, especially when Wisconsin, when winters can be brutal, having uh, storefront is saves your butt. Nobody gets your windows cleaned. When I say nobody, I'm just like, oh, I get people. Okay. I would say we get maybe a dozen people in December, January, February. Like each month is maybe a dozen, give or take. Which you can't run a business on that, especially with employees. So get your route, do your snow removal, whatever. But that is storefront. Uh, storefront is um, huge for frequency. So uh, what we do is a dollar per pane is what I charge. That's per side per pane. People go, well, there's companies here that do 50. There always is. There's always a company that does it for less, and there's always a company that does it for more. There's some people out there who go, I charge five bucks a pane. If they don't do it, they don't want it. Okay, sweet. I don't need to do that. Because at a dollar a pane on a normal route that's tight, meaning... Uh, I do this place, and I do this place, and this place, and a tight route. Uh, my guy is going to earn minimally fifty-five an hour. Again, that can change um, depending on season or what part of the route, because we do have some routes down to fifty an hour because there's more drive time. Um, but you still can strive. One guy goes in a truck. Do not send more than one guy in a route, because every second there's a lot of drive time, a lot of windshield time. Every minute that it's windshield time is actually two minutes because you got two people. So there's no need to have two people in route. That's at least my opinion. Unless you have a job that requires it. It just doesn't exist, I don't think. Again, comment down below. Tell me if I'm wrong. Um, but that's our storefront pricing. It's a buck of pain per side. Uh, inside of storefronts, I'm going to prefer not to do that. So if you want to increase the price, so dollar on the outside, buck fifty for the inside, or dollar for the outside, two fifty for inside and outside, do that. The insides of stores always suck. Uh, a lot of times they don't have it done because there's stuff in front of them. I don't even offer it on uh, uh, C stores and gas stations and things like that. It just doesn't make sense to do that because I'm not going to go around uh, a pallet of soda. Notice what I said, tea squeegee, soda, not pop. I don't call it pop. Uh, but uh, it just doesn't make sense. So be smart about that, but that's storefront. Storefront means uh, on a route in the U.S., uh, a route includes weekly, bi-weekly, or once a month. Now, I don't do very many things once a month because I'm going to push them to do weekly or bi-weekly. But I run on a four-week rotation, so every week it's either uh, once a week, uh, every other week, or I have... Um, uh, once a month is every four weeks. So yes, there's an extra two extra cleanings, I guess, in there uh, for the year. But that's how I do it. It makes scheduling so much easier. If you do monthly, like uh, the first week will be there, the second week you're gonna 
screw yourself up somewhere because there's extra days and months and weeks and uh, do it on a weekly schedule. But that's our pricing. Um, on commercial window cleaning, commercial is any large building that goes basically more than or less frequently than once a month. So quarterly, uh, every six e uh, months, which is biannual or yearly, um, we're going to charge more for that. Uh, usually equates to about $4 a pane for the outs because in the inside it's usually done by the janitorial company uh, and um, I can't even tell you one job that we do commercially that, that I'm on the inside. So you're just probably not going to find it. You may, again, your area may be different. If you want to offer it, offer whatever pricing you want on the inside. But $4 window usually equates to the pricing. Now, in commercial, if you have to get a lift, the lift is what's called a pass-through price. Pass-through price means if I'm getting charged $525 after tax, delivery, fuel, surcharge, environmental, you're getting charged $525. Now, you technically had to make the call, get it, do everything. So if I'm getting charged for $525, I could charge you $550 because I had to do something. My grandpa owned a business all his life and his thing was anything you touch, you charge. Which means if you, you know, package something or opened it up for a package for somebody, like you charge for everything because otherwise you're doing services for free. So that's up to you to decide. We do just straight pass through. Um, it's easier that way because I can kind of convey that. Sometimes I'll give them the information for the lift. Um, other times I know about what it's going to be or I'll quote out a lift and then I will increase it so that if there's anything that comes up, sometimes fuel charges go up, surcharges and things like that. So keep that in mind. But that is pricing. Pricing is one of those things that even when you're in for a while, sometimes you have questions. You have look at something and go, man, I put this out and it just doesn't make sense, especially on large commercials. The biggest thing to do on a commercial is if you're going to count each window, you can. But I still do time on those. It equates to $4 an hour or $4 a window. But what I do is I break it down in little sections. I cut it down and go, this section will take us 40 minutes. This section here will take us 15 minutes. This section will take us an hour. And then I add it all up. Because large projects, when you're setting down on a large project, if you just look at it, even if you drive around, you're not counting, but you're just looking at it, you go, man, this job is going to cost $5,000. You actually break it down to real numbers, all of a sudden now that job could cost $10,000 or $2,000. Like pulling numbers out of your butt just means you're going to screw something up. So don't do that. Just count it, break it down. It's super easy. But if you have questions, shoot the pictures to me via email. Jersey at windowcleaner.com. And I'm more than happy to help you out. So do that. Um... The discount code this week, if you order, now remember, it is only ordering through me. If you call uh, or go online or anything, you cannot get the code unless you order through me. First off, what the heck are you not ordering through me? I should be your rep, man, or ma'am. Uh, I would really love to be a rep, literally. I get guys uh, just had to put an order in as soon as I'm done recording here for like uh, $32. That's awesome. Because I make money doing that. That's what I do. And I want to make sure you're happy. So please let me do it. The coupon code for um, this week is HAPPY100. HAPPY100. HAPPY100 because it's the 100th episode. Man. Uh, so cool, guys. But I do appreciate uh, any of you that do decide to order. Shoot me a text. Tell me it's in your cart. Make sure that you're logged in so it saves. But my number is 862 312 2026 that is my cell so text me call me whatever and uh, i would love to put that in for you so please do that thank you to everybody uh by the way follow me on instagram jersey wcr nation go to youtube comment down below just be active throw this out there it's the 100th episode man if you're not gonna high five me for that high five me. shoot it out share it whatever and uh, until next week just go out there and uh, be epic